It's rather dark here, but I thought you might like to see uh, my purchase. Now it's normal; it was normally fifty-eight pounds, but I bought it in the sale for twenty-nine pound. And it's a, what what the people the fashion is a shacket, and this is a shacket, and I bought it a to keep me warm, and it's like a shirt, but it's a jacket a to keep me warm, and b because it was cheap. <laughs> I think it was £29 and it was from Kit and Caboodle who are an actual, it's a company near Harrogate and I thought it was rather nice. It buttons all the way down. I'll just put a button, fasten a couple of buttons so you can see. Um, I need to move you down a bit more. Hang on. Hopefully you'll be able to see if I put you there. I'm balancing you on my radiator, which is a hot radiator because it's pretty cold today. And this is my shacket. It goes down, it's down to just above my knees, just below my knees rather. Got pockets and uh, it's got a vent, a vent there. It's rather like the shirt that I've made. And uh, it's got the collar and it's made of wool. Now I liked it because it was orange and you all keep telling me I suit orange. It's got a cuff to it, which I think I'm going to do that with mine. I haven't got around to doing it yet, but I'm going to have this cuff on mine. And the one thing I'm not keen on, well it's not that I'm not keen on, but I want, I think I might put a second row on those because it, the, they seem to stick out a bit. You see there? Stick out. And I think that if I put a second row on the edge, along the edge of there, that will flatten it a bit more and it might lie a bit flat. Now, I have a cat, and they've the managed to, to match the, the checks a bit, although that's not so good there. Oh, that's where the pocket is. So they haven't really matched the pockets, but the actual checks aren't too bad, matching right to left. So I've got somebody who's crying, so just a second. Now, the nice thing about this coat is it's like a furry cat. There now, who can you see? She's not allowed in here. Which was I know you're not allowed in here. You know you're not allowed in here. That's why you're looking up and you're saying, what's up there? I've never been up there before. Well, you did. You sneaked up there once, but you can't remember you sneaked up there, didn't you? And somebody pointed out, they said, your cat's got one white whisker. I don't know if you can see. She's got one white whisker. And that white whisker seemed to appear overnight. One minute she didn't have one, and then the next when she came back, she had this white whisker. I don't know how fast whiskers grow, but it had turned white. And the eyes look grey there. Are you pairing? So, we've got a new coat, and we've got a cat with one white whisker, haven't we? We're going to put you back in the room where you're supposed to be, and not in this one. She's looking up and she's saying, never been up here. Never been in here before, haven't you not? No, it's all, all very strange, isn't it? Very strange. Right, put you down. See you later. 
It has got a stray thread there, so I'm going to have to tie that off, otherwise it'll all come off. The buttons are grey-brown. It's not bad. It'll feel warm. It feels very warm. So I quite like this. I quite like it. So I've given that a second row, and I've done the same with the pocket, giving it a second row. And I just think it looks a little bit tidier and flatter than this one. I've got that one to do. And I've also put a row down the edge here and that's flattened that seam a bit. That's the pocket, that's the buttonhole seam. So I just thought I'd, I'd put a row close to the edge and this, I'm going to do the same there. Not, it's not going to be, it's going to be in on that. Is it going to, no, it's going to be on the outside edge. Sorry, I'm missing sweet. And I'm going to do a row along the outside edge here. I just feel it's just sticking out a bit too much. And that looks really nice. It's nice and flush. So we'll do that. And I think I'll do the same with the collar. I think I'll put an outside line a row of stitching. And it'll just flatten it and make it look more professional than the unfinished. You know, than not having it. So let's see what that turns out like. Hi everybody, Micheline from Michelle Makes here. Um, this is a this is a um, a quick vlog. Well, I, this might not be quick, but I've got a number of vlogs that I've got to, I want to do, and this one is about clothes that I've made over Christmas, kind of from about October through to now, to January, and I've made a few things. Quite a few in the Malacala clothes. I've got a note here, the Lacala 2209, which has pockets in. I've already made a blue one, and then I made a pinky, it was like a beigey pink colour. Uh, you'll see the picture coming up. And that one, I liked. The fabric was from Flamingo Fabrics. It's got two pockets, and with it being Lacala, you either like Lacala or you don't. Some people like it because you can do it to your own measurements. Um, I like it because I don't have to do many adjustments and uh, if you don't like that a very similar one is the sew over it heather dress and what I'll do is I'll show you further on the sew over it heather dress to let you see what that looks like it's very similar I like that one uh, the Lacala one which is like the heather dress and I made two of them would I make it again yes I will I think I'll use a darker fabric next time probably something like this green this one i think that would look lovely with that uh, with that top and this is like a a, a slightly thick jersey t-shirty type fabric <laughs> Well, I was telling you about this jacket that I bought. It's not a made one, and I said it was wool, and it's not wool. For, st for starters, it's not wool. It's actually knitted on the inside. You can see it's a knitted stretch. See, it's got a stretch to it, and they've actually cut it across the grain, so the knitted stretch goes this way and not so much that way, not from top to bottom. I have... Done as I said I was going to do, done a, a running stitch close to the edge of the collar. I've also done a stitch around the pockets. 
um i did tell you that it cost 29 pound as opposed to 59 it's lovely and warm and in here i've just come in here because i wanted to record this it is cold in here so this is lovely and warm to keep me warm when i'm in here but for if i was paying 59 pound i would want these pockets to match and when i looked it back on the uh video when i looked back on it on on the recording that i'd made i just thought they don't look right and it would it's going to slightly bug me that they're not that they're not lying properly let's have a look that they're kind of a that they're not lying properly and b that they're not i don't know there's just something about them so i'm in two minds i never was keen on pockets on oh trying to balance you on a tripod here i never was keen on pockets where the bust is so i'm in two minds whether to remove those pockets and to do it sooner rather than later because if i take them off sooner then they're not going to make too much mark on they're not going to mark the uh the fabric on the outside so i might just take those off because then they're just not doing anything for me but um as i said 29 pound i didn't mind paying 29 pound but if i was paying 50 odd pound i can't remember what the real price was but if i was paying 50 odd pound i would not be happy if they were giving me <laughs> pockets that didn't match up with the checks so this is where doing your own and making your own and matching it is a lot better so i'm going to keep this on this was a white top that I dyed. I dyed it orange, then I didn't like it. They didn't like the orange on it, so I've dyed it again. I actually dyed it a russet colour, but it's come out like a dark orange, which actually goes well with this, so I'm going to keep that on. And the first thing I made, well, actually, it was a long time before Christmas, but it was the shirt that I showed you last week. And the shirt that I showed you last week was this one. I've just taken all my uh, my hanging, hanging, my hangers were here. And I've taken it down. This is the shirt that I made. It's like a shacket. It's really nice. A lot of you said you liked it and you wanted to know what the pattern was. And the pattern is a McCall's pattern. I can't get access to my patterns here because I've got a lot of stuff around here. But I, what I'll do is I'll put, the, I'll put it up there to let you see what it was. It was a McCall's pattern. And that, what I liked about it is that it's raglan sleeves. The collar is like a, it's not a shirt type collar, it's kind of a, what I would call a curved collar, it, but, it's, but it's in a shirt style. I've top stitched all my sleeve, all my seams, I've top stitched them. I never top stitched that and I think I need to. Um, the back, that's the back. And... Uh, you know, I just noticed something that I did. I forgot that I'd done this. What have I done that for? Why have I got that on there? Oh! <laughs> I was just noticed something there. I noticed on the sleeves. It's it's so long since I made it. I noticed on the sleeves I've got some stitching there. And that's the kind of stitching you have when you've got a tab. You will also notice that I see the extra piece on the sleeve there. I don't know what happened. I think I was trying to cut corners yet again and I didn't have enough fabric so I had to make the sleeves have an extra piece and I think that's where the problem might ri arise that I can't extend them because I've got those on. But look what I've got here. I actually had a little tag. So that goes, so that goes, let me, I'll, I'll try it on to show you. Better with a black shirt. But this is, oh, I know why. What I didn't like was you can turn the sleeve up there like that. And then I've got like a little tab. Where is it? There. Somewhere there. Where are you? Where have I got the tab? Have I got one only on one side and not the other? Oh, there it is. It's because it's going upwards. Let's have a look. Hang on. Where are you? Push it down. There. Right, I think I've got it. Yes. If I turn it up, you see the inside of the shirt, which I don't like. I think I would like to uh, double it, put a, um, the same fabric on the inside. But if I did that, 
I have somewhere here it's proven quite difficult to find where is it there I've got that which can go up there but it's a rather high and I don't know let's see what it would look like if I get a pin like that it would be kind of like that which would make the sleeves like that but I still think I need to add a bit extra to the length because I just felt that that wasn't long enough I think I ran out I have seen some fabric whether it's enough or whether I've got to do some piecework on it to try and extend it I shall see but I'm not sure I suppose that might get, I might get away with that if it was turned up properly but uh, that has a little tab on the side love the pattern I also made a green one with this a green crepe de chine and I you'll actually see it in the introduction on the introduction of this this vlog it's a, a sea green color and that looks lovely that was what made me do a second one so that shirt jacket dress is lovely it's got a it's got pockets it's got a side split as i've just shown you and i do like that one the next one i made was this one which fastens up here right up to the neck like that I need to reposition that button because it's not lying there's a bit of a gap there and it's simply because the button's too high and the buttonhole's lower so I need to reposition that button then it will lie a lot better and this one is this one this is very heavy fabric I actually made it for to wear on Christmas Day and I ended up not wearing on Christmas Day I ended up wearing trousers but it's the Tilly in the Buttons Lyra dress and this is what it turned out like it's got pockets I put pockets in I can't remember if, it, if Tilly has the pockets in but it has the tears I'm wearing my trousers underneath so if you can see trousers because I'm wearing my trousers it's got um buttons all the way down there the, the sleeves I was going to have as a wide sleeve and then I decided I didn't like them like that so do you remember these little buttons that I bought these little shirt tab things they're like little they've got little tacks on the back these are little shirt buttons that I've got here and I've just pinned them on there just for to bring the sleeve together I have got more fabric if I wanted to add a cuff to it I love this it's polyester jersey it's very very heavy this fabric I bought it quite some time ago and it's like a the color is like a uh, let's show you the inside the it's a white on the inside the color is like an aqua green or it's, it's between bottle green and turquoisey green and I do like it and I, what I I'm just using what I've got so I didn't have any buttons and there's no not really any red in here but I made red buttons I did red buttons there I can wear it with the with it open or shut Let's see if I'll open it up a bit to let you see this is it open how does she have it she has it shut but I could have it open if I wanted it to haven't worn this yet as I said I was going to wear it for Christmas on Christmas Day and I don't know the trouble is with dresses is I um, I don't wear dresses very often I thought I'll make a nice Christmas dress I was going to make another one in fact I've made another Christmas dress still haven't worn that one and um, the problem there is that it was you just because everybody was it's lounge we're all into loungy wear so I went with trousers and a, a lovely top that it was a board top that I actually bought in December to in November 2019 and I thought I've got to get my wear out of it so I had this board top on instead um I think I've shown you it but sometime later I'll show you what it's like so this is the Tilly in the Buttons Lyra dress so that was one make now for another one <music> this is 
this is the other dress that I made which I was going to wear at Christmas again never got round to wearing it it's got pockets it's a copy of another Lakala that I made it's a Lakala dress that I made this one is the one that I made this Christmas with a neck that goes up and it forms like a, a raised a raised neck there with the seam going down here the dark going down there love this pattern three quarter sleeves because I do like a three quarter sleeve I am wearing a pair of trousers on so you might just see where it's where where the waistband is there but I do I think it's lovely I love a high neck it's really flattering well I think it's flattering I, I love a high neck I do like a low neck but I do like a high neck and this was I, I made it in an afternoon it didn't take long to make um, probably for intermediates for an intermediate sewer but I really really am happy with this one and the thing I like it's, it's to my measurements I didn't have to make much adjustments length of the sleeves I made a bit shorter I think uh, I think I raised this about half an inch my waist is actually there but I because I have my big bust I like to have it going down from just below the bust like an empire line I find it tends I feel that it tends to flatter it a bit more uh, it was meant to have a zip on the back but I found that I could put my head through so I've got a little a little uh, buttonhole little opening there and a little buttonhole with I hope you can see a little buttonhole thread there so this is the Lakala and I can't remember the number but I'll put it up there again my uh, my camera battery's just run out, so you, I've changed to another to my mobile phone. So I hope it uh, looks just equally as good. Uh, I did say I'm not sure if I've already done this, but I made a Donnell dress. Don the designer stitch Donnell dress. I think I mentioned it in a previous video, and I think I did it around about October, November. But I thought I'd show you it again because what I've done is I've added other people's dresses in to let you see what the variations are. And I just think it's a lovely dress. I did use an oval buckle, which every time I wore it, it tilted to one side. I could then see why people had round ones. But um, not a big issue for me. It actually looks quite trendy with it being slightly on an, on the one, on an oval. It wouldn't stop me from wearing the dress. So yes, I do like that one. So here's a Donnell dress. one was La Carla 2100 a nice enough pattern and the fabric that I used was some jersey that that Rennie had given me loved the purple jersey I added some stitches to it what I did was I added sleeves to it and I don't like it with the sleeves in so I'll probably take the sleeves out and wear it just as a sleeveless top the way that the pattern's supposed to be I slightly hacked it by adding those sleeves doesn't doesn't look as nice as it would be so I shall be removing this the sleeves but other than that I like the top I like the fabric it was a it was a jersey fabric and I liked the way that I added the stitches and I had this little odd button a big a big rectangular button odd shaped one um an odd shaped button that so I saw that in on there and I'll show you what it looks like in the in the video
The next one that I did was Lakala 2219. Now I've mentioned this to you, it was a waistcoat. This is my first attempt. It doesn't go with this fabric, the, with the shirt that I'm wearing underneath. I did have a bit of a to do with this front bit here and I had to unpick it because I ended up with one side being wider than the other. Basically with Lucala, they don't give you great instructions so you've got to work it out for yourself. I'm going to put a nice big button across there, probably a big pink, shocking pink one, just to make the grey pop. I could have done with putting pockets in the side, but I've got splits here. I don't know if you can see the splits. I've got splits there and the collar is like a roll collar. It goes up round there and it's a roll collar. And this is some jersey fabric that I've had for a long time. It's been sitting on my shelf and I thought I've got to do something with it. I have top stitched the seam and on this inside seam I've used some leftover fabric that I had I made into a bias and I've gone right round it with some pink bias binding so that if it comes open it, you can see the bias there um so that's why I thought I might use a pink button in the middle in the front here nice to keep me warm not very flattering because it's gray but this is why I thought the pink button might make a difference and um I do like the way the collar turns over. Um, I'll, I'll go further away so you can see what it looks like. I'm wearing it with trousers again. And yeah, I like it. I will make it again. I shall use more of a, maybe it's even black with some, with some, and I was wondering whether I should line it because it's not lined. But this I do like. This is very nice. So yes, this is one of the waistcoats. I've got a few waistcoat patterns and I shall try different ones but this one I do like. So I have got about three or four half made vlogs. I'm going to try and get this, it's uh, today's Wednesday, Wednesday the 12th of January. I'm going to try and get this uploaded because tomorrow night our friends John and Barbara are coming and we're going to go on holiday again. We're going to have another jolly elsewhere to the south coast uh, and I shall be taking you with us. And what I might try and do is try and do, maybe it's, a, maybe it's not necessarily a daily vlog, but might do a little short snippet of a, maybe every every other day, a little snippet of where we've been, what we've done. Uh, it won't be as professional looking as it normally is. I won't, might not have a beginning and an end, but you'll get to see a little bit of where we're going. I'm not going to tell you where we're going because it's going to be a surprise. So I've got to find, because I've got to get my bags packed, um, I've got to find something to take with me to do because I can't just sit there and do nothing. I will be organising my vlog so that will take up some time. They will want us to play games so that will take some time. But if I can find five or ten minutes then I shall probably be taking some little sewing thing or some crochet or something with me. So I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. Where are you? I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you and I'm going to catch you next time.